I'm Dr Emma Craythorne, a consultant dermatologist and founder of Clara. You've landed on this page so that we can talk a little bit about rosacea and what rosacea is. Rosacea is a condition that affects many, many people within our society and it's a bit difficult to sometimes pinpoint exactly what it is because it can present in many different ways. For some people, it's just about the sensitivity of their skin barrier and they find that they can't use things that other people typically could use on their skin because it causes it to sting or burn or feel very uncomfortable. For some people, they flush more easily and they would find themselves in social situations or in response to certain foods or drinks flushing very easily. And they can often find this embarrassing, which in turn actually makes the flushing worse. And then for some people, they go on and develop pustules and papules. These are small red bumps or bumps that are filled with pus and they tend to affect the mid part of the face. In this situation, often some people have problems with the eyes and we also call that an ocular rosacea. For some people, they also develop thickening of the skin. This is much rarer, but we do still see it and it's something that would need to be treated quite quickly if that were to be the case. So as you can see, rosacea um, can present just from that sensation or it can move on to having great changes within the skin that you and other people will see. Why this happens is probably down to genetics. In fact, it's definitely down to genetics and we see it much more commonly within certain subsets of our population. The next thing is really is our skin barrier. A lot of people have a skin barrier that's perhaps not as good as others for keeping out all of the things that are irritant to our skin and also for keeping in all the things that are important so we don't lose too much water. If that is mixed up, then you tend to get irritation much more easily. Imagine putting a chili pepper on the inside of your mouth. You know, that's going to sting. Put it on your skin and it tends not to. For some people who have a poorer skin barrier, it would actually sting a lot more on their skin. When it comes to treating rosacea, it's incredibly important that you nourish and protect that skin barrier. So anything you're putting on the skin has to be gentle and safe and effective because if you disrupt that, you're just making things worse for yourself. And that's the real key is whatever is delivered to your skin, it has to be delivered in a base that's set up to nourish and really, really support the skin. The next thing is that we know that there are gold standard effective medical ingredients to treat rosacea. These have been through numerous clinical trials and are shown to be the best of all of the bunch. Most of these are not available to get over the counter and the evidence shows that at the right percentage, the right ingredient, then this is effective at treating rosacea. This is part of the reason why I invented and founded Clara because I wanted to give all of my patients the ability to be able to treat their skin in the best possible way so they had access to the right ingredients in that really lovely base so their skin is supported but also it looks beautiful and feels beautiful because this is something that you need to do for the long term. You don't just suddenly fix the skin of rosacea. Yes, you might get rid of the symptoms and the signs that the outward people and yourself see, but actually deep down, you will always have that tendency. So it's important that your skincare routine is targeted, it's effective and it's simple and it does the job that you need to do. If you'd like to learn a little bit more about rosacea, then check out some of the other social media channels that I have. And I hope that's been of some help to you.